everybody welcome back to my channel welcome back to another vlog before we get into the reset video i wanted to give a really big thank you to book of the month who is kindly sponsoring this portion of the vlog book of the month's mission is to help readers discover books that they'll love and to promote the work of emerging authors book of the month pretty much does all the work for you they'll do the research and their team goes through hundreds of books every single month to give you the best options to choose from after you choose your book your blue box gets delivered to your doorstep also one of the really really great things about them is that they offer the best price in new release hardcover fiction they also offer audiobooks which is amazing if you guys want to check out book of the month i'm gonna have the link for them down below and for the whole month of march you guys can use code chirp and get your first book for only 9.99 anyways let me show you the two books that i got this month the first book i chose is this one right here this one's called happily never after by lynn painter i'm a sucker for these types of covers and then in my little blue box over here this one's called anita de monte laughs last by sochitil gonzalez also another thing book of the month never disappoints with their bookmarks you get a new one every single month thank you so much to book of the month and let's get started with this reset that video. Today is Sunday, February 25th. It's the last Sunday of February. My favorite thing to do on a Sunday, I already did, which is sleeping in. So I slept in, I tried reading a little bit, but I ended up just scrolling on my phone for like an hour and a half. But right now I'm gonna make my bed. I'm gonna start a load of laundry. And then I also have a bunch of cleaning and organizing I wanna do today. But I also really wanna treat myself to a bagel and a matcha this Sunday. And the place that I go to closes really early. So I think I'm gonna go pick up a matcha, pick up a bagel, and then I'll come back and do the rest of my cleaning. I hope you guys are having the best. I'm thinking I'm gonna upload this on a Sunday, but just in case it's like a Wednesday or a random Tuesday or something, I hope you guys are having the best day, whatever day it is. But anyways, let's get this day started. I already washed my sheets yesterday, so that part of like my Sunday reset is completed. Now we just have to make my bed. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna be eating a bagel today. I got to the place 10 minutes before they were about to close and I was like, there's no way they're gonna take my order. I already knew it wasn't gonna work out because I was like, I wouldn't even take my own order if I got there 10 minutes before closing. So I decided to come to this new little coffee shop nearby. It's a Japanese French pastry place, which sounded really interesting. I ordered an iced matcha, but I didn't realize that they don't do iced matchas. They do them blended, which is actually really, really good. And instead of a bagel, I got an almond croissant. I already took a few bites and I think this is the best croissant I've ever tasted. It's so delicious. Anyways, now that I got my little Sunday treat, I'm gonna go to the grocery store super, super quick because I realized when I was trying to do my load of laundry right now that I don't even have laundry detergent. So I'm gonna go pick that up and a couple other things. I picked up all the groceries I needed. I picked up everything I needed for my ginger shots. And I also really wanna make like a detox juice later. It's the same green juice I used to drink like almost every single morning a few months ago. And I feel like a detox is the perfect thing for a Sunday reset. The first book that I got, I am so excited for this. I can't even count how many book series I've started and have never finished. So the main series that I am determined to finish is the Magnolia Park series. I've read the first one, I've read the second. I'm pretty sure this is the fourth one, but I ordered the third and the fourth. I think the third is in this package over here, but I got this book, Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. This lighting is kind of awful. 
so I got the third book which is Magnolia Park's The Long Way Home. I was also about to order the fifth one but I was like let me not rush this because I've heard from a couple different people that the fifth book is so incredibly sad so I'm gonna read these two and then I'll order the fifth one. The other book that I got is this one Heartless by Elsie Silver. This is the second book in the Chestnut Spring series. I'm about to finish the first one hopefully today and I'm really enjoying it so I was like before it takes me like months to get to the second book of the series let me just order it now so I picked up the second which is Heartless so yeah this is the book haul okay I think I'm gonna set a 45 minute timer to do all of my cleaning it's not like incredibly messy this whole weekend has been like a little bit of a reset weekend actually I think I'm gonna set a 30 minute timer just so I feel a little bit more rushed and I don't take my sweet time with like the most simple of things so I'm gonna set a 30 minute timer clean this whole place up. Anyways, enough of this procrastination. <laughs> Let's clean. cleaning and I also made my green juice. I haven't had this in a really long time and I kind of expected it to taste really really gross but if you're thinking of making this for yourself as like a good detox juice it doesn't taste bad at all. I feel like the pineapple and the apple and the lemon really help with the celery and the spinach taste. It's just cucumber, baby spinach, celery, lemon, pineapple, and a green apple or like whatever kind of apple you like. Anyways the sun is about to set so I think I'm gonna sit by my window and like watch the sunset as I read my book. Reading by my window is like my new favorite reading spot. I literally feel like Rapunzel.
I just finished Flawless, the first book of the Chestnut Spring series. Closer to the ending, it started to lose me a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. But overall, it was a really cute story. The town in this book, I want to move there. Like, it is just the most, it's just described in like the best way and it seems like the most peaceful, beautiful little town. Now I'm trying to figure out if I should read the second book of this series and like get more into it or if I should start another one. I ordered a Lauren Lane book which her books, like Lauren Lane books, are literally like my sort of like palate cleanser books. So far with the Lauren Lane books that I've read in the past, they've been like the cutest rom-coms and they're just short stories. They're just short and sweet. So I think I'm gonna start one of her books tonight. I have the second and third book of this series over here. I have the third and fourth book of the Magnolia Park series over here. And then I have the second book of the Chestnut Spring series. Anyways, I'm gonna do this series. Since I know that the Magnolia Park series is gonna break my heart, in the best way. I'm gonna finish this series first, which is the Central Park Pact series. And it'll be a really quick read. Perfect. Well, I'm trying to hold down two jobs while you enable the Prince Proud Man who is 